Hello, I'm Sam Norman, and you're watching Book Zone. And I'm speaking to Kate Summerscale about her new novel, The Suspicions of Mr. Witcher, which is published by Bloomsbury. Um, Kate, tell me how you came across this story. Uh, I, w I read about it in an old book, an anthology of Victorian crimes. Uh, it was at the time a very celebrated murder case, and a very terrible one, the murder of a child in a country house in Wiltshire. And I... I thought it was an extraordinarily rich story, very mm -hmm. gothic and dark uh, family story. Um, the boy's family were the chief suspects in the case and the servants. And um, so in that sense, it was like the, an original country house murder mystery. Yeah. All the suspects were in the house and the and a detective was sent down from Scotland Yard to unravel it. And uh, what aspect of the story... I mean, yeah, what angle did you tackle it from? Um, the detective particularly interested me. He was a brilliant man who was one of the original eight detectives in the first detective force in the English-speaking world. Mm -hmm. And he came up with a very ingenious, fascinating solution to the case, but was unable to substantiate it or prove it. And his career was ruined by the accusation he made and how shocked the public were by it. And he went on to become a, um, an inspiration for the detective in the Moonstone, which was the first... Um, Rookie Collins. Yes, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. proper detective novel. Uh, so I saw that this was a story about the origins of detective fiction mm -hmm. and about the origins of detection as a profession. And I was fascinated by the career of this particular man, how he learnt to do what he did and what became of him after this catastrophic case. When you're tackling a, a story like that, and you're, you're doing it from the point of view of fiction, is it... I mean, I can imagine that there's an element where it's slightly easier to do because you've got the, the bones of, a, of the story there already. Mm. But do you have to be terribly careful about the, the fictional elements you, you hang on them? Well, it's, it's not fiction, actually. It's, I've tried to model it on a, it, the structure of the mm -hmm. book on the cu country house murder mystery, a detective yeah. novel, because that those were the forms that it inspired yeah. but everything in the book is true I haven't invented any dialogue mm -hmm. any weather <laughs> anything at all or clothes everything that in there is I have I hope is true I've um, I've sort of sourced from from newspapers books the case was covered very extensively at the time and I've read the detectives own notes which have been preserved by the Metropolitan Police and um, so it was with, you know, with some hard work, it was possible to gather a huge amount of yeah. original data. So the, the shape may be indebted to detective fiction, but the content is all, is all true, I think. And when you were reading the anthology, were you, were you looking actually for a story to inspire you or, or an idea, or, or did you just feel this was the perfect thing to... It was a, it was a mixture. I, I was interested. I was reading about the Victorian period, and I became quite interested in Victorian crime, particularly sort of, mm -hmm. um, sort of mad the, the idea of madness at the time and how it was treated in the courts. And um, so it was. I was sort of uh, entertaining myself, but with half an eye to thinking I might be able to that that my interest might take me into writing a book along these lines mm -hmm. if I found the right story. I didn't expect it to be the, de the detective that, that was my starting point, in fact, but, but really that was he was the driving force in the book. And because he interested you most? The case itself is, is absolutely um, you know, amazing and, and fascinating. I would, as, as characters and as, as strange and complex characters, there are several people in the story mm -hmm. as interesting as him. But as a figure who could take the story beyond the, the case, beyond the specifics, and into what w the ways in which we read detective fiction and what pleasures mm -hmm. we get from suspense and clues and riddles and all that, the detective was my way into that. I know that the publisher is terribly excited about it, so best of luck. Thank you. I was talking to Kate Summerscale about The Suspicions of Mr. Witcher, which is published by Bloomsbury.